What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll do a comparison between OnePlus Android 12 aka Oxygen OS 12 with that of Google's Android 12. After this video, you guys will have a better idea which OS have better UI, more features and we'll also talk about the material you're theming on both these OS. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have two phones towards the left hand side, this is my OnePlus 7 Pro and towards the right hand side, this is my OnePlus 8. We don't have any Pixel device, but we tried getting the closest experience of Google stock OS by using Pixel experience on our OnePlus 7. And for OnePlus 8 series and 9 series, OnePlus have already rolled out stable Oxygen OS 12 based on Android 12. And at the end of this video, you guys let me know, according to you, which OS is better when it comes to UI and features. And if you have any other thought, that also you let me know in the comment section below. So first, let's talk about the lock screen. So here you can see both the devices have different lock screen and with the new updates of Android 12 for Pixel devices, Google have made many changes. I'm personally not a huge fan of this huge clock, but now we have the option to customize it and you can force it to smaller clock. Lock screen on OnePlus devices do looks pretty neat and clean, but one added advantage on Pixel devices is this weather widget which is present on lock screen. This we don't get on OnePlus smartphones, though it's a handy feature instead of unlocking your device, you can just directly have a look at the weather. And guys, let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video. And we have 82% of users who do watch our videos but haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And now talking about the home screen. So again, both the devices have pretty good home screen layout. I don't like much of adding widgets, but that's again a personal choice. On OnePlus smartphones, we have this Google search on the top side. Though on Pixel devices, we get this option towards the bottom side. And it's same like we have 5 into 5 grid on the home screen for both these devices. Swiping towards the left hand side, we have Google feed. One add-on what you get on Oxygen OS 12 is this OnePlus shelf feature. Again a personal preference, if someone doesn't like it, you can just anytime disable it from the OnePlus shelf setting itself. And talking about the launcher, so both have their own launcher. On Pixel Experience ROM also we have Pixel Launcher pre-installed. But as said, we get more customization options on the Oxygen OS 12 launcher. Where you can customize stuff like wallpapers, icons, layout, transition. But that's not the case on Google's Android 12. We have some basic stuff in the launcher settings. One plus point of Google's Android 12, we can customize the icons depending on the wallpaper's color. But this feature is not present on Oxygen OS 12. And as said, we'll be talking about wallpaper based theming in the later part of this video. But still this theme icon feature is exclusive for Pixel devices. This is still in beta phase right now. If you talk about the app grid, so this is about the home screen as said, we have five into five max grid size and that same grid size on Oxygen OS 12. Though here on Google's Android 12, in the launcher also you get 5 into 5 grid size, but that's not the case on Oxygen OS 12. Here we have max option of 4 applications. Though we have made a video by which you can get 5 into 5 grid size in the app drawer also. Make sure to check that video which is being displayed on the screen. And now talking about the quick setting tiles where we have a lot of difference compared to Google's Android 12 with that of Oxygen OS 12. So here on Pixel devices, we have this new layout completely redesigned with Android 12, but OnePlus is following the same path which we have been seeing from a longer time. Brightness slider is on the top side, but with new updates, I think you can customize the brightness slider and move it towards the bottom side. But on Oxygen OS 12, we get access to many additional tiles instead of having access to few tiles in the first page of quick setting tiles. But here you can see, we get access to total 12 tiles on Oxygen OS 12 and on Google's Android 12, we get access only to eight quick setting tiles. Now let's move on to the app drawer. So app drawer looks pretty much similar. We have this search option towards the top side and from here you can make the search of the applications. On Google's Android 12, with the new updates, I think search bar have been updated now you get the universal search wherein you can do all other stuff like searching for contacts using calculator and other stuff directly from the app drawer search section and this feature was present on oxygen os 11 which was called scout feature and now they have removed this feature from the app drawer and this can be found in the shell section for example if i do a search of one plus one instead of opening up the calculator this will give me the answer directly from the search bar and then let's talk about gaming dashboard on both these phones so here you can see on both these phones we have different gaming dashboard i personally find oneplus gaming tool much useful with more features google's android 12 have limited options and i still guess this is in beta stage most of the devices don't get this optimization feature enabled though i'm not sure if i'm wrong do let me know in the comment section below 
but on oneplus gaming dashboard we have lot many options where you can directly reply to the messages you have gaming focus mode performance mode voice modular and touch optimizations you also get all other details like time device temperature and the battery percentage so here oneplus have better gaming dashboard compared to google's android well going inside the settings so this is how settings page looks on both these os pretty much similar no major changes done here and i do find oxygen os 12 settings page more cleaner and minimal because we don't get the sub settings under every settings but as you can see here under network and internet you also get an overview about sub settings like you have mobile wi-fi hotspot but i think in 2022 most users don't require such things if they have ever used android phones i'm personally aware about every setting under which section i could find them and now let's also talk about the dark mode on both these os on oxygen os 12 we do get additional options to customize the dark mode where we have three options gentle medium and enhanced and if we set to enhance i personally feel it's way better than google's android 12. also we have this option of adaptive contrast which automatically adjusts the screen contrast intensity according to the ambient condition a great add-on on oxygen os 12. and let's also talk about the customization options so we do have lot many options to customize on oxygen os 12 wherein we don't get such options on stock android 12 from google by default you get this always on display and you cannot even customize the same on stock android 12 but on oxygen os 12 we have lot many options to customize the clock styles and you can also add features like canvas bitmoji and other stuff along with that you can see we have so many clock styles available for always on display and then later you also have few options to play around with the fingerprint animations which is not present on google's android 12. you do get stuff like horizon light and for me it's quite a useful feature another add-on what oneplus have done with the android 12 is related to the theme store so here they have added a new theme store though most users don't like it but if you guys want to change style of your device or you can say look then you can anytime apply free or paid themes directly from this theme store google's android 12 is purely stock and that's the reason we don't get much of add-ons there but google does a great job as always and that we can see with the new material you theming part added on android 12. so here we do have an option where you can change the color or the theme of your entire device depending on the wallpaper so for example if i set this wallpaper my device will adapt to the colors depending on this wallpaper on stock android 12 but here on oxygen os 12 we don't get any such options you just have few options where you can customize the colors or you can say essence color and that can be done from the color section in the personalization tab so this is one drawback on oxygen os 12 but if you talk about few of the google stock applications like gmail google these applications have started to adopt material you theming part so depending on the wallpaper these apps do change color so as you can see the color here let me change the wallpaper and show you guys and soon i change the wallpaper the color should get changed there you go so most of the google apps have started to adopt this material you theming part on smartphones other than pixel devices but if you talk about color os here we have the option to change the device color or theme depending on the wallpaper so here under personalization we have an section of colors where you can see it says wallpaper color picking so depending on the wallpaper you can set your device color on color os though this feature is only exclusive on color os not on oxygen os so guys these were all the changes what you can see between google's android 12 with that of oneplus android 12 aka oxygen os 12 and according to you which device have better ui let me know in the comment section below and what all features are your favorite on oxygen os 12 that also let me know in the comment section below so as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day